Don't ever be afraid of hard work. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 11 says, He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. So the person void of understanding uh, is not a wise person. So in other words, the wise person is the person who goes to work, the person who tills his land. Now, the metaphor here in the image here is from the farming world. And anybody who's been involved in agriculture and farming knows that, that when you till the land, what that means is, is you get the land ready so that you can plant, so that you can grow uh, a crop, so that you can harvest that crop. And if you're talking about wheat, well, you cut that wheat this time of year, and then you're able to take that wheat and make bread. But maybe it's a cash crop that you grow. And so you till the land, you grow it, and then you have something you can sell or trade. And you can trade that for something that you need, or you have something that you can sell. And then in turn, you can turn around and buy the things that you need. Uh, it's, it's been going on since time. And God gave this to Adam all the way back before sin in the Garden of Eden. He placed the man in the garden to... Uh, dress the garden and to keep it. Adam was tending an agricultural pursuit. And so is there anything wrong with that? No, absolutely not. You know, uh, what? one of the things that's really interesting to see in our day is, is the elite are trying real hard to do away with agriculture. Get rid of all those flatulating cows and, and, and stop growing this carbon producing crops. We'll just eat food that we make that comes out of a toothpaste tube, you know? Um, listen, <laughs> don't buy it, don't, don't go for it. Uh, we gotta eat and God has given us a planet that actually produces food right out of the ground. It's incredible blessing that God's given to us. But the point of the, of the proverb is, is if you follow after vain persons, you are, you're not a person of understanding. The proverb is almost exactly uh, copied in Proverbs 28 and verse 19. He says, He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. And so the, the image is, is of the, the, the farm kid who hates what they're doing and they want to they wanna get rich quick. They don't want to have to work. They want to go play. And along comes this shyster who says, if you'll follow my 12-step plan, I can show you how to be a millionaire and you'll never have to work another day in your life. And so they leave their farm. They follow this guy. They listen to what he has to say. And instead of planting, instead of tilling, instead of harvesting, their farmland doesn't produce anything but weeds that year. And the next thing you know, they look up and they don't have any food. When we come to the New Testament, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11 says, And that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. God has always intended for us to work. There's nothing wrong with work. And when we work, what we're doing is we're producing a good that someone needs or we're providing a service that someone needs. And, and that is good, it's right, and it's a blessing to others. Uh, that same church, the apostle had to, had to get onto them because there were some of them who didn't wanna work and they were kind of being busy bodies and running around and mooching off everybody. And so he had to write to them in 2 Thessalonians chapter three and, <clears throat> uh, and verse 10 and say, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which are walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. And so throughout the scriptures, uh, we are commanded and encouraged by God to work and to produce a good to provide a service. I just want to encourage you this morning. Uh, God will provide for you. Uh, and and he, he knows what you need before you even ask him. Uh, but he has instructed us that that the way that we should uh, motivate our lives is is to to work. And don't be scared to work. Don't be scared to work hard. Don't ever think that work is beneath you. Uh, realize that work is something that God has blessed. God bless you. Have a great day.